Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Bouthat. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict Number no. 68 of 2021, designating the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning as the Minister responsible for the Real Estate Regularity Authority (RERA) before the Legislative Authority. On behalf of His Majesty the King, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, awarded medals to a number of high achieving athletes in various fields in the presence of First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness awarded the medals to the runner, Maryam Jamal, who won the gold medal in the Olympic Games 2012, Second Lieutenant Abdullah Adi who broke the world record as the fastest runner in military uniform for Sergeant Ibrahim Ultimami for breaking the golf record in the Valencia Marathon, Sina Munferidi for winning the World Championship in Jiu-Jitsu and Hisham Noor for winning a gold medal in the same competition. His Highness affirmed the royal support for sports and its achievements in light of the keen interest of His Majesty the King. He affirmed that His Majesty's honouring of these athletes represents a high degree of appreciation for those who who raised the profile of the kingdom. He also affirmed that these athletes are fit representatives of the kingdom in various fields and praised their efforts throughout the competitions they were involved in to achieve the highest honors. His Highness called on them athletes to work hard in the future and achieve further honors in various fields. For their part, the winners expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty and said that being honored with medals represents His Majesty's keen interest in supporting Bahraini sports. They also affirmed His Highness's support for athletes and vowed to bring further achievements to the kingdom and raise its profile in various competitions. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the support and interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the honorary president of the RHF in charity and humanitarian work inside and outside of Bahrain, and the support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness was speaking on the occasion of RHF winning the second edition of the Prince Mohammed bin Fahed Prize for the best charity performance in Arab countries countries, which was organized by the Arab Organization for Administrative Development. His Highness also expressed appreciation to the RHF executive management and employees who played a distinguished role in serving orphans, widows and the needy inside and outside of the kingdom. He praised the contribution of the Bahraini people to the charity and humanitarian work implemented by the foundation. His Highness affirmed that this great achievement reflects His Majesty the King's care for charity and humanitarian work, specifically the care of widows and orphans in Bahrain and the provision of various services to them in a comprehensive professional manner which reflects the magnitude of the relief and humanitarian efforts provided by Bahrain to various people who suffer from conflicts, wars and natural disasters. His Highness noted that Bahrain has been keen to be proactive in extending a helping hand, adding that Bahraini efforts include the establishment of many development projects that contribute to providing care for people. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, the BOC, is Hanish Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received GSA deputy president and Bahrain Martial Arts Council chairman, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, to review the preparations for hosting Brave International Combat Week, which will include the first edition of the MMA Super Cup in addition to the Brave Championship, which is scheduled to be hosted by Bahrain during the first quarter of 2022. The meeting was attended by GSA CEO Dr. Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar, advisor of BOC, president and president of Brave Mohammed Shahid, and president of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation Mohammed Gambar. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the efforts of Bahrain Martial Arts Council in contributing to supporting the national federations under its umbrella. His Highness was briefed on the preparations for Brave International Combat Week. He added that the committee, through holding the MMA Super Cup, is looking 
looking forward to enhance the advanced status of the kingdom as a destination for organizing and holding various world championships. He indicated that hosting such sporting events supports a continuous effort to revitalize sports tourism in the kingdom, which emphasizes the role of sports as a major driver of the national economy and reinforces its essential role in the implementation of the Bahrain Vision of 2030 goals. His Highness said the achievements of martial arts, especially mixed martial arts, have been made thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to sports and athletes. Sheikh Khalid added that the outstanding efforts of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work in youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, also had a clear impact on these achievements. His Highness expressed hope that this sport would continue to display outstanding levels and make more achievements. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received Saudi Arabia's Olympic Committee vice president, His Highness Prince Fahd bin Jalawi bin Abdul Aziz. The meeting was attended by the General Sports Authority deputy president, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the CEO of the General Sports Authority, Dr. Abdul Rahman Sadiq Asker, and Bahrain Olympic Committee secretary general, Mohammed Hassan Al Nasif. His Highness Sheikh Khalid will Welcome designers Prince Fahad to Bahrain, praising the historical relations linking Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and the keenness and interest of the two countries to strengthen them in various fields in order to achieve the aspirations of the two leadership and people. His Highness lauded the distinguished status of the Saudi Olympic and Paralympic Committee, headed by His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Turk al Faisal, in light of the successes and developments achieved at all levels. His Highness stressed the keenness of the Bahrain. Olympic Committee in enhancing relations with its Saudi counterpart based on the broadly relations and the signed agreements between the two parties that aim at implementing a number of activities and programs in addition to the exchange of expertise to develop the Olympic movement in both kingdoms. His Highness expressed his confidence in the ability of Saudi Arabia to chair the current session of the Council of the Presidents of the Olympic Committees in the GCC and to promote a joint Gulf action in the field of sports lauding the role played by the Executive Office of Committee's Presidents in adopting various recommendations aimed at promoting Gulf sports. His Highness expressed pleasure in the Kingdom's hosting of the meeting of the Executive Office and his wishes for achieving the best results that contribute in the promotion of Gulf action in the field of sports. Meanwhile, the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawzi Ibn Abdullah Zainal, held a meeting with the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Abdurrahman, Adil Abdurrahman Al Asumi, in Egypt. The Speaker is currently leading a delegation from the Council of Representatives on an official visit to Egypt. The two sides discussed joint parliamentary cooperation, stressing the importance of coordinating Arab stances during the meetings of the Interparliamentary Union, the IPU. They said and paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, hailing royal support to Pan Arab work across all fields which would benefit countries and people in the region. The Sustainable Energy Authority, SEA, launched the Sustainable Energy Authority Award for Renewable Energy, patronized by C President Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza. The award is launched out of the C's belief in the importance of supporting all efforts to achieve the national interim and long-term goals, including reaching net zero carbon emissions. The award is in line with C's efforts to advance the renewable energy sector in the kingdom, encourage investment in it, and enhance public awareness about renewable energy concepts and their important impact on maintaining the sustainability of energy resources and achieving their kingdom's national, regional and global commitments. On the occasion, Dr. Mirza stressed that sees keenness to shoulder its national responsibilities through developing the sustainable energy sector in line with the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He he indicated that through the award, C aims to provide and promote the best technologies, applications and effective practices to enhance the contribution of renewable energy as a sustainable and competitive alternative to fossil energy, highlighting the importance and feasibility of renewable energy projects within the framework of efforts to address climate change and preserve the environment.
The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al-Salah, inaugurated the Sitra Special Healthcare Center in the presence of the Ministry of Health Under Secretary Dr. Walid al-Mana. The inauguration reflects the Ministry's keenness to develop and operate the center with the best capabilities and equipment to enhance the long-term healthcare system. The opening of the center came in line with the Ministry's approach to complete vital projects in the field of healthcare and rehabilitation to serve all governments of the kingdom, which contributes in raising the quality of life life and of individuals and meet their health needs through modern specialized centers. The minister expressed pride in the building's advanced structural level and equipment to complement the center's health services and, the, and she appreciated the unlimited support that people with various disabilities enjoy in Bahrain through the government's care and follow-up to ensure high quality health services to citizens and residents. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,199,648 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,173,836 had taken the second and 800,014 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,316 with 46 recoveries and 241 registered new cases. 67 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 138 are contact of active cases and 36 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating Coronavirus.